Hello, I'm Miss Rochelle, and welcome to the Hewitt Public Library Toddler Time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. So today we are talking about having fun. And so I have everything loosely tied around Halloween. Um, but the exciting part of today's story time is that I get to introduce to you a wonderful lady. Her name is Kristen Davis, and she is a speech language pathologist. She works at Baylor University in their speech and language clinic. And she is collaborating with us by giving us some uh, just awesome information about language and how language can be fun and help your child read in the process. So I'm excited to introduce Kristen Davis. Hi, my name is Kristen Davis and I am so excited to be here talking to you. I am a speech language pathologist and I work at the speech and language clinic at Baylor University. I'm happy to be collaborating with the library to bring you some helpful tips on building your child's language. By helping to build your child's language, you're also helping them establish that foundation that they need for when they are ready to read. One big way to help your child while learning to read is to show them that books are fun. Get them involved in reading. Choose books that interest them with fun pictures or books that you can do with silly voices. Talk about the book and what's going on on the pages. Describe the pictures and have them think about what is happening even before you read it. If they aren't showing interest in the actual reading of the book, tell the story in your own words and have them help. Even by doing this, you are still helping them build those foundational reading skills because you're helping them build their language. The big thing is that you want them to be talking and active while reading. Make it a special time with you two and help them foster that love of books. It's worth noting that your goal is participation, not perfection. Have fun and be silly. Do silly voices. You'll have lots of giggles and you can show them that reading is fun. I hope you found this tip helpful and I'll see you soon. So I hope you enjoyed those tips from Kristen Davis. And I would like to show you a few books. We have quite the selection for Halloween. I know many of you have come in and checked out books and I'm very excited about that. And so I'm just going to briefly introduce a few of these. Um, in the back, we have The Phantom of Creepy Hollow. This is a whodunit book for children uh, about who put bubble bath in the brass section. And so it's a very cute book, a very cute whodunit book. The next book that I'm going to tell you about is How Spiders Saved Halloween. If you're wondering how they magically ended up in my lap, it's because they all fell off the table. So we had to start again. But this one is How Spiders Saved Halloween. And basically, um, someone needs a Halloween costume and needs some help. And so that's this book. Um, Halloween Pigs is a fun story about the pigs disguising themselves to go to the wolves Halloween party. And it mixes in a little bit of the three little pigs. It mixes in a little bit of Little Red uh, Riding Hood. So you've got some fairy tales involved. It's a fun story. It would also be fun to check out some of the fairy tales and read those to your child and then read this book. The next one is The Littlest Pumpkin. And this little pumpkin um, just has a dream of becoming a jack-o'-lantern. And so it's a story about this pumpkin and the pumpkin's dream. And then we have The Night Before Halloween. And this is a different take on Twas the Night Before Christmas um, centered around a Halloween theme. And then we have Oi S. Halloween. This is in Spanish and it will teach safety. It teaches things and um, in, encouraging good behavior on Halloween. Things like saying thank you when someone gives you candy. So it's a very sweet book to read. 
And then down on the end, let me grab these. So we have Beneath the Ghost Moon, and this is also a take on Twas the Night uh, Before Christmas, but it's not just telling you about Halloween. It has quite the twist in it and tells a story, and um, so it's a lot of fun. And then we have Halloween Mice, and this is how the mice outsmart a cat on Halloween. So, um, it's a lot of fun as well. Are you ready for story time? Are you ready for story time? Clap your hands. Are you ready for story time? Clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. Are you ready for story time? Nod your head. Are you ready for story time? Nod your head. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, nod your head. The night before Halloween. The Night Before Halloween by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Cynthia Fisher. Twas the night before Halloween and all through the house, all the creatures were stirring except for the mouse. The monsters had gathered to plan and prepare for the trick-or-treaters who soon would be there. Mummies unraveled and put on new wraps. Spiders found corners and spun silky traps. Count Dracula grinned and slicked back his hair. Frankenstein's bride cried, I've nothing to wear. Hurry up, said a ghoul, who started to yawn. There's so much to do before bedtime at dawn. So the witches brewed up a magical potion, which set every monster and goblin in motion. They blew up balloons and hung streamers and lights and decorated till the wee hours of the night. Meanwhile, the children were tucked snug in their beds while visions of candy corn danced in their heads. There's some candy corn. In the morn when they woke, it was Halloween day. There was bobbing for apples and rides in the hay. There were costume parties and games to be played, cupcakes and candy, and of course, a parade. After dinner was served and the kids were done eating, it was finally time to go trick-or-treating. Moms repainted faces and straightened clown hats, put wings back on fairies, angels, and bats. Jack-o'-lanterns were set out on porches with care. Their grins seemed to say, knock if you dare. Gypsies and pirates and zombies in rags grab their bright flashlights and trick-or-treat bags. They walked down each lane, avenue, and street, rang every doorbell, and said, trick-or-treat. But just when the children thought they were done, the princess said, we've forgotten just one. So 
So they walked to the house at the top of the hill, which gave all the kids a spine-tingling thrill. They stood on the porch and were ready to knock when they heard heavy footsteps in a turn of the lock. When what to their curious eyes should loom but a wicked old witch holding a broom? Her cape, how it shimmered, her face, oh, how scary. Her hat was so pointy, it frightened the fairy. The wicked witch said, welcome, we have a surprise. And the children yelled, run, it's not a disguise. The monsters were sad when the kids ran away. They wanted the children to come in and play. The wicked witch said, we can have our own fun. Come on, little monsters, the night's just begun. The monsters all cheered as they danced with delight. Happy Halloween to all and to all a fright night. I hope you enjoyed today's story. We still have time to do some uh, finger plays and chants. So the first one we're doing, pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. This does use a um, sign language for pumpkin. So you just flick your middle finger very gently on the top of your arm and that's pumpkin. And then for the rest of it, we just do um, different actions. So let's get started. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small, now you are a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? So that one also had a little rhyming in it. And then the next one is five little pumpkins, and this is a finger play. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't. Hair. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, let's have some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. Five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. And then the last one we're doing is a pumpkin chant. So you're going to clap your hands on your knees and clap your hands together. So here we go. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, Pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin boo. So that's it for today's story time. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say.
bye. Goodbye.